Hey, hola, ¿cómo están todos? Es Astuo Duki de vuelta, episodio 18, acá, ya a mí, uh, antes que entre en acción y todo eso. Iba a decir, you know, pero, ok, lo voy a dejar acá. Patea, escupe, acuchilla, dispara al botón de suscripción, haz eso por mí, ¿ay? y haz lo mismo con el botón like. Comparte este video a todos esos enfermos que les gusta videojuegos acerca de apocalipsis, horror, terror, acción, aventura y filming. Y cualquier cosa que tengas en el cerebro, ponlo en la casilla de comentarios. Puede ser tu cabro, tu marido, tu, todo eso, todo. A, a tu vecino, todo eso. Ponlo en la casilla de comentarios. Ah, no te voy a sostener más. Episodio 18. Da en like. Dos. Y filme. Haz tú. Burum. Dicky. Nada, nada, Diki Duki. Entramos en acción. Ahorita. Yaun. Extra frito. Sigan viendo. Sigan viendo. Ok, tengo aquí para allá. Pa. Uh, no voy a llegar, dos. So. Ni siquiera, oh shit, es un tornado. Ni siquiera puedo usar el, para, el, el paracaídas porque el paracaídas no es muy este confiable. El paracaídas es una basura. Fuck it, nah. Uf. Quizás puedo usar el. Ahora sí. Wait, hold up, bro. Ahora estamos hablando. Hay gente todavía, a mí no buena, do, pero hay gente. Hay gente uh, no, que todavía sigue viviendo. A mí. Fuck, voy a usar para caídas. Ábrete. Basura para caídas, do, bro. What the fuck you doing? Puta madre, no avancé ni mierda. Este juego necesita muchas este, superaciones. Oh, Merchant, Craftmaster, uh, Pick Your Floor. Ok, esta es la. Oh shit, esta es la base, la base, la base de, de los PK, Peacekeepers. Mantenedor, mantene, mantenedores de, de, del Paz. Kill them. And uh, what did they say yesterday? Hey, what's up? Halt. Biomarker. Biomarker. Here. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Hmm. Matt takes part in missions himself. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. I was in the field. I was helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Mm hmm. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are going to get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Episodio 18. Hey, you. Want to be sent back to the Outlands? Extra frito. Sigan viendo. Bitch, ¿qué me dijiste? You better shut the fuck up. Shit. Me 
está hablando a mí así. Sí. Fíjate tu tono. Fíjate tu tono, do. Fíjate tu tono, girl. Fíjate tu tono, bitch. Ey, ¿qué por acá? Hey, where's dispatch? Ahora sí funciona. Okay. There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast and easy. Go, go, go. Oh, sí, están entrenando ahí abajo. Okay. ¿Quién eres tú? Ah, you. Mayor. I remember oh, you from shit. the canteen. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. So yo, you feel me? Right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, ¿Cuál pelea? What do those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. Uh, okay, y qué, y qué hay con tu papá? I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ah, uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Okay, dime. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, uh -huh. some civilians, okay. and got a medal. I see. When was this? Long time ago. Cuando? Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. Okay. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Ah, uh, so, uh... King Missy? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Oh, Missy, Missy is the name of this drugs, barco. Masks and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. So, where is Mayor Matt? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Oh, yeah, come on, Pagos. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Something's happened. Make room. What the fuck? Clear the way. He's bleeding out. Fuck. Peter's oh in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Summon the medics. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Sí, no quiero hacer est uh, extra mis misiones extras. Estoy acá para encontrar a mi hermana. Eso es todo, bro. Yo sé lo que voy a hacer, do, bro. I mean, yo sé que es un videojuego, esto y lo otro, do, pero. Tengo que encontrar a mi hermana, though, bro. Primero es lo primero, you feel me. Yo sé que el videojuego es acerca de... ¿Tienes, 
tienes que verlo de cierta forma, you know, es como que si tú estuvieras en, 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 en el videojuego, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que harías? Tu misión número uno desde el comienzo es encontrar a tu hermana, ¿verdad? Y que gente venga así y te diga, oh, no, tengo una misión para ti, y esto y lo otro, you know, ayúdanos, y esto y lo otro. Bro, come on, man. No es que solo una persona haga la diferencia. No es película de Hollywood, you feel me, so... What's up, fool? ¿Qué es no? Don't just stand there. Come here. Yeah, I got it, Nero. Know what this is? Yes. These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Uh huh. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? Oh. It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, Psst. tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Uh, I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the butcher's right hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them Otra right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another. Until you get the answers you're looking for. Uh, ¿Qué quieres en retorno? Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest I antenna in the center, the on the VNC tower spire. But you want to defeat the butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I help you. How can I uh, be certain you will help me? I'll do my part. Okay, como, we'll guarantee como say you say you'll help me after. You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get walls for you. You're working with Loan. Si cuando la gente promete algo, no, nunca lo va a hacer, no. Dice, oh, que te prometo esto, pero nunca lo van a hacer. Okay, I'm in. Good. The butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> All right, sir. Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Are you going out anywhere? Oh, and Aiden. When can we talk? You don't have to call me, sir. To friends. Talk to you. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. I lost something more important. Shh. Who's more important than this? All right, so uh, this is el, ese, ese el problema. Tengo que hablar con él. You Everyone bitch! Know. Shut the fuck up! Okay, alright, uh, um. De nuevo tengo que hablar con este tío. Aiden, what do you want, son? Okay, dime acerca de los renegados. These renegades, 
It seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's gonna be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. But if Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it, destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he yeah, sits there so in shit. his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Okay, I, uh... Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck, then. <clears throat> Damn, estoy tratando de finalizar este episodio 18 todo, pero... Damn, ah, uh, so... Ya hablé ya con general. ¿Puedo saltar por acá? No, supongo que no. Militares si no tienen ninguna pistola, nada acá. Come on, bro. No puedo creer que es una base militar y no tengan armas en lo absoluto. Okay. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan. The VNC light. Power. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. Come on, but bro. first, we need to get to the top, and that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Uh, dime más acerca de, de las, de las uh, torres de televisión. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors. Give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end... The night runners were wiped out. Oh shit, murieron. Damn. Ah, uh, dime más acerca de qué es lo que pasó esa noche. Dice que unos sobre, sobrevivientes fueron a esta torre de televisión y uh, porque querían mandar una señal a, to, a todos los sobrevivientes, pero no pudieron porque uh, de, de alguna u otra forma muri, murieron. So, damn. Ah. Uh, Dime más acerca de qué es lo que pasó esa noche. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runners' screams on the radio that night, 
still have nightmares about it. Sigan viendo. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor, and the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Okay. Okay. Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide and seek the last few days, and he's late, getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. Ok, so estos militares me dieron una, una, uh, una linterna que dispara uh, luces ultravioleta. Esto controla a los zombies. Y los. Y you no, know, una vez que apuntas la luz ultravioleta, luz ultravioleta, como que los zombies se. You know, tú sabes que cada vez que los zombies ven luz ultravioleta, como que. Ah, se mueren o, o se reducen. So. Esa es la gran arma que tienen los militares. A nada. Deben de estar bien cagados para no tener ninguna arma. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. Si cambiendo. Shh. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make Ay, no himself more. scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. The one, you're a bitch, man. Ay, ay, ok. Uh, sorry, lo siento. Um, otra que ir arriba. No, 
Tengo que estar corriendo de aquí para allá. Oye, ¿y qué? Aquí para arriba, oh, acá, ok. ¿Quién chicha es este hombre? Come on, boss. Rainer. ¿Y lost man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got oh, orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's. I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. <laughs> he hasn't an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Hmm. ¿Se acuerdan cuando dije que uh, la conversación es todo acá en este videojuego? Eso es lo que voy a hacer ahora, ¿tá? porque podría uh, asustarlo, podría preguntarle por ayuda, o podría Agarrar una tangente y. No sé. Y hacer la conversación más o menos. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Right, you're right, pitched. right. Just isn't working for me quite yet. Oh, try okay. again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay. Dame un segundo, though. Dame un segundo, though, bro. Okay, vamos a ver qué es lo que pasa cuando lo. Lo amenazo. Lo, lo amenazo o pido por su ayuda. Si pido por su ayuda, sin, uh, puede ser de que you know, se pase de la cuenta y todo eso. Vamos a poner un poco de presión. Vamos a ver cómo va. How about a court martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Oh shit, Yara. Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Well, no funcionó la amenaza though, so. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. 
He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. Oh. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. Hmm. You can only get there by a paraglider. That's why there's a chance something's left. Uh, I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't okay. think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Okay. cosas de valor para Juan Juan es la puta que te parió ¿Qué hay acá? Luan, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Virgin. Ta madre, ¿con quién me voy a encontrar ahora, bro? ¿De dónde hay energía para mantener esta esta estas televisiones? Yeah, cuenta de Damn, hasta acá vino el virus, bro. Todo se fue a la mierda. Bro. So but it seems as there isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One wow. romantic son of a bitch. Okay. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Yes. 
One. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Okay. Augusta? Is it still? Ah, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship, probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Hey, the liquor, what liquor? Now, where the fuck is the party? snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Ah, oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. One barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Uh, what a sublime present. That's me. Handsome. 
No, wait, wait, don't, no, no, Thomas, okay. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Okay. And why uh, he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. <gasps> wait, <sighs> he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Mm. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. Is something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. It's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. Okay. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Okay. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute, and you've picked the right <sighs> side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the BNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Something else on your mind? Um. Oh, so parece que alguien más me está ayudando a completar mi misión. Encontrar a mi hermana no es nada fácil, como pueden ver. Shit. So, uh. 
Eh, muchas gracias por estar viendo este episodio. Ok, uh, no se olviden de suscribirse a mi canal. Destruye el botón, chanca el botón de suscripción. Te doy permiso. Te invito a que lo hagas. Lo mismo con el botón like. Uh, comparte este video a todos esos enfermos que les gusta este tipo de videojuegos. Y uh, cualquier cosa que tengas en mente, compártelo. Ponlo en la casilla de comentarios. Ay, lo voy a dejar acá nomás. Yo, tienes que hacerlo, do. hazlo. Ok. No. Y feo, mira, estuvo, burun. Amau, ti. Acá nomás lo voy a dejar, ok. Amau.